Why, hello there. I might have a drug problem. Nostalgia. But getting caught with Skyrim was a lot better than the last time I was caught. To explain Skyrim, I will use biology. Imagine, Skyrim is the typical human body. Oh, what's this? The modding community, aka SL, is starting to divide a little recklessly? Until the modding community is no longer the tumour. It's the entire body. This is how Skyrim stayed relevant and kept growing. Many games are called cancer, but this is truly one of them. Now, you download this 12GB indie game and slap on a 60GB mod pack containing 500 mods. If you thought being unmedicated was unstable, try playing with this. If your computer isn't priced over £2,000, expect a heating problem. I want it to be known, I do not have a mental illness. I have mental allegations from my therapist. And I don't trust the pills he gave me when I gave them to my dog. He chewed through the eyes of my teddy. Just so people know, this is a joke. I would never give away my highly addictive medication. I just need to fill in time because downloading 60 gigabytes at 500 kilobytes a second takes time. So does the intro. So when the wall doesn't break as intended, I break as unintended. Oh, fix your fucking mod pack! Oh my fucking, I, I just sent it into, oh, 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 escape crashes the game! Oh, the fucking wall doesn't break now! Oh, brilliant, brilliant! You likely know the story. You've probably read the book, <coughs> loser. But someone might not know, so I will butcher the intro to this game. You manifest in death row. You're not on the list of criminals. You committed no crime, but she wants you dead anyway. Hashtag relatable. She didn't realize karma has unconscious and metaphysical consequences. So karma sends a dragon. After you have a psychotic break, you turn to alcohol, which you start stealing. People catch you, but feel so sorry for your existence, they let you go. Then, you go to warn the king, but on your journey, they attack you for no reason, trapping you in an internal glitch where you either die from the swords entering your bloodstream, or leave and have your body thrown to its death. Then, using time travel, you return. Once in the castle, you feel alcohol withdrawal and begin hunting for the sacred drink. Then, you tell the king you saw a dragon. As a reward, you're sent on a suicide mission where you, an unexperienced, under-equipped fighter, Go through a dungeon to fight spiders and Asmongold. After that, you hear a calling to your soul on the wall. The Weeblife is calling out. You collect the manga of the boss. Then, here a dragon is attacking a tower. You slay the dragon and absorb its soul. And now you think you're special. Skyrim! Personally, I've played this story three times now, and this time, I'm burning the strings on both ends. I'm exploiting this game harder than children in Chinese sweatshops, who I dare say, make incredible clothing. Are you skilled as them? Can you make a shoe? No. But before that, I need to complete my shout. Why? I wrote an offensive joke, and I feel inclined to make this joke. Will it demonetize me? Yes. Do you wonder how it feels to say retarded to a mother with a spastic daughter? Retarded! Nasty! I just get greater pleasure saying this word than you get offended. If it's a game of emotions, trust me, my dopamine levels say I win. But if intellectually and developmentally disabled sounds better, um, it sounds as if you're really trying to rub it in. I understand they have a sad, life-altering condition, but you want to spell it out to them? You're worse than me. To pray on this game, press the button below escape. I hear praying to that god gives you everything you ever wanted, unlike our god, who just gave me diabetes. Find a companion of your choosing? I pick this one for, um, her, her, her skill. Ensure you're both Gucci equipped, because... I want to settle a grudge. 
Do you remember being a kid when the giants would smash you into the sky, making you their own personal paper aeroplane? Well, my vengeful brain never forgets. If I have to wait years, I will wait years. I do not forgive. Forgiving is for those that cannot reenact their justice. I'm not dumb enough to forget. When I enact it, there will be no clear motive for the police. My punishment will be overboard. If you've wronged me, you should live in fear, stupid fucking giants. Glad that's out my system. Some childhood trauma I can now process healthfully. Well, I've kind of done what I came here to do, honestly. Um, so uh, I'll review the game and the mods. The graphics mods pick up this dead corpse of a game, stuffs in an anorexic person, paints it with makeup, and I can't lie, it actually feels as if the game was released in 2022. Personally, I recommend the smaller collection, and we'll link the tutorial and fixes in the description. Psst, do it now before it outdates. To describe how using a graphics mod feels, imagine a girl walks by you with a dump truck. You can also download mods that allow you to relive WWE takedown moments as the old combat system is stale and WWE is the pinnacle of real fighting. I recommend finding an old fragile woman and WWE tombstoning her. Using a magic mod you can pick up NPCs during their wedding. Then you can proceed to strip them down as you then begin to haul them back into the wedding so they can get married, or fall down, explode, and well done, you've crashed a wedding. Or you can play as our saviour, Jesus Christ, and proceed to spread Christianity around Skyrim by using a cross to smash your religion into their heads. Or you can become a dragon rider and fight other dragons. That's why if you get bored with Skyrim, you just mod it a little bit more. Now, it's time to delete Skyrim. While on Tinder, I did find a content executive and I told them to stop demonetizing my content. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe because I am a small channel.